like I'm a fisherman I'm trying to hook you guys in um, welcome back to the channel guys hope you guys are doing good um, today it's actually gonna be a good one I want to talk about something I think I struggled as a content creator I still struggle on and I think anyone out there might be actually be helpful towards them which is called self-doubting yourself as a content creator let's get it Okay, so I know this is a big topic, especially when you start out, or even as a professional, or whatever, or in many when it comes to creating content, or just as a regular human being, you self doubt yourself a lot. And self doubting yourself, let me make sure I use the right definition. I'm just gonna go down into Google and we can take a look at it together. So according to Google, self-doubt is a character characterized by feelings of uncertainty regarding one or more aspect of the self. And yeah, like Google said, it is something that we all may experience at a certain time in our life. And um, what it is, is when as a content creator, you're making stuff, you doubt your work. So if you make something in your mind, you tell yourself, you, how you, or you feel in certain ways that I can't do this, I'm not that good. Um, you feel like this is not good work or you feel that I'm shit or you feel that this is the worst work I've ever done you know that kind of stuff so it's a feeling that we, we everyone has it I do sometimes when I make a, when I take a photo shoot I doubt myself and I'm like yo is this work actually good and it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of um, what's it called steps you need to take in order to get to that stage and the first one I'll probably say is if you believe your work is not that good um, I'll say seek out close friends that you know you can talk to. That is the difference between seeking out close friends to talk to and seeking out close friends to give validation. And as a human, I believe it takes a lot of steps to have self-validation, which is you believe in yourself that you're good. Because when you constantly seek validation from other people, it's harder for you to like move on from self-doubt. And my perspective on it is have close friends you can talk to. When you, can, when you have that feeling, you can have a, it can be a partner, it can be whatever, or other creatives that you can talk to, someone that you know that you value that work and is in your city. You can always talk to that person, reach out to them over online, and I say, yo, what do you think about this work? Give me some feedback. It's good to have those friendly relationships with different people, and it helps. So my biggest take on self-doubt is, it is a hard circle to get out of. Like, I still struggle with it, especially when you do a new photo shoot and you're pumped about it, and then you edit the final images, and then you send it over to people, and they're like, yo, no, no feedback, no nothing. And another thing also about feedback is, uh, sorry, about self that is when you do a photo shoot, you can always ask, like, hey, what do you think about these photos? Um, what do you think could have done better? Get some feedback, because feedback helps. It helps understand what you're good at. Or another example I came across recently is, if a client reaches out to you, just be like, hey, um, what out of my work made you reach out to me? Was it the way I lit the photos? Was it the way I edited it? You can also be a graphic designer. It can be how did you like, was it the way you designed it? Was it the colors you used? Was it the structures? It can be anything. You can always ask the, hey, what made you reach out to me? What about work did you like? Because then when you're actually working for that client, you actually make sure what that person liked the most from your work, you actually provided it. So yeah, the biggest thing I would say is, and then I think also is self doubt when you hold yourself and putting your content out there, it's harder for you to grow. So what I'll say is put your shit out there. Like even if it's bad, if it's good, as long as you have a good sense of happiness when you take it, put it out there. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks about it. As long as in your head, you can tell yourself that, yo, I did my best and you know you did your best. That's the only way you really grow. So yeah, just wanted to just jump on here real quick. I just give you guys a little short talk about self-doubt as a content creator. That's something I still struggle with and I'm trying to push through. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the Fisherman hat. It's been a long day. Winter is coming. It's getting cold in Canada. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. You can drop some comments down there. Let me know what you want to talk about. Let me know if this video helped you in any ways. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.